前らそこでおとなしく見てろよ。こいつはいかん。He's taking a stance?Yo, what is up? How's it going? I'm James and welcome to Finland Saga. Time on Vinland Saga. I have lost my notes. Oh no. I found it. We have some new people. We have uh, the Kya Kyala Kur who has been、uh, serving an employment to Gardar, who is a slave. And now Gardar has escaped, and his wife is quite unfortunately the same woman that Einar is lusting for, that Einar is trying to get. And he's, 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 he's kind of getting there, although he kind of looked like a, you know, being friends on there in the last episode. But, anyways, those chances are. Uh, absolutely out the window as、uh, Gardar has now returned on a horse. Yeah, it's over, Einar. I'm sorry. That's just kind of sad, not gonna lie. Even the fact that he looks exactly like Einar, just like a better version of him, more intense version. But one thing he, one thing this dude may not have that Einar has is the absolute incredible sense of humor. So,、uh, you know. We haven't seen much of him yet to confirm this fact, but we will see more of him, I'm guessing, right now. So, with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 14. As always, if you'd like to see the next episode early, check the first link down below. Join the scouts today and get a, a next episode early, which is also uncensored. Thank you so much if you do. Number 14, Freedom Arnheit. Suruto. ここがケティルの農場。He's so intense。なんということだ。歩いて数日の近くにそなたたちがいようとは。The, the two of you。前にも増して。Man, he's he's beautiful. What the fuck? ヒャルティは元気か。ヒャルティ。もう大きくなったのであろうな。Brother? ガルザル。ヒャルティは。He's dead, isn't he? さあ、帰ろう、三人で、私たちの家へ。You know。その手を取るな。I don't think he's alive. Oh shit. Okay, who's? 取れば、キル。Who's stronger? Oh. Okay. Now he's angry. Maybe he's got some of them shrooms. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no. I know. <laughs> So he's gonna attack Snake? That's reckless. That's reckless. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't killed yet, has he? Oh, he's taking a stance? Oh, really? Yeah, no shit. Oh my god. You can see the little grass like pieces in the air. That's crazy. <laughs> He's a machine. But so is Snake. You got him? Mm. Okay, as somewhat expected. Is that how his journey ends? He's alone, there's no one else to come to help. There's only 
a person to invade who, who is Canute and he may in his second now. So that may help him. Are there not slaves anymore? Almost. And she's gonna be in shambles. Poor girl. <laughs> Holy shit, what to do now? <laughs> She's causing an earthquake. Hey, Naru, wait! Hey, Naru, son. What's he gonna? What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Yoru, Naru. Kurai uchi nara, tori de ni shinobi konde. Garza san o tasukerareru kamo shirenai. あ。何もしなかったら旦那さんは確実に処刑されるんですよ。When <笑> Okay, so it's arranged. He still has a chance, then? Torfin is on a peaceful path, leave him alone. Was it a son? Uh, a Yeti? Yalti. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> of course, you can. Even the old man is listening. Another past episode. Can't wait. Sweden? That's far north. That's him. He looks so gentle. As he's drinking from probably an iron cup. The Vikings. Oh no, they were gone? And then... Oh no. Son of a bitch. And I'm kind of starting to dislike Vikings. Yeah, He's not dead. Important information. Because you looked... He looked like one of the Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> Now he's gonna save him. No. Pregnant. Oh, now that would not fly with the guy, probably. Oh. So she doesn't want to go back. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Man, poor guy, though. Uh, gar Garder, all he wanted was to, you know, make his village better and get some iron and look. Get all that shit then has happened in the meantime. What? Even his wife has a child with another. <laughs> oh no. She does want to go back. 
と耐えて嵐をやり過ごしたことがあるその頃ケティル息子は同郷の美しい娘と愛し合っておった More flashbacks. Hell yeah. エッペに恐れをなす者も,も多かった逆らえば滅ぼされると我らの下した決断は服従だったノルドの男が聞いて呆れるわしは保身のために一人の娘を差し出したのだそして娘が嫁いだ日 Yeah, she looks happy. Incredibly so. Oh! Eppe no Tomi o Netami, Niximi o Idaita o Toko no Shiwaza datta. Was she died as well? Nazi Itzuma. Kunna koto pakari. It's a cruel world out there. Washi ni yeru no. Arashi wa yari sumosu koto wa dekite mo kizu ato wa nokoshite iku to yu koto da. Suman na chikara ni nare nakute. And I so, so love the visuals in this show. Wait, and what? Damn, not, not that much has happened though. Fuck. And that has been Vinland Saga. The MVP for this episode is gonna be. Einar, just because he is such a supportive man, and even though he is going after Arnheit, he's willing to go and save her man, and, you know, go against his uh, uh, thing as a slave. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a great man. Other than that, not much, really not much has happened this episode. We got some backstories, we got some backstory on Arnheit, we got some uh, revelations that she is a child. With Ketil, that's pretty awesome. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed once he comes back and, you know, I'm sure it's gonna bring him out of his state that he's in currently. And yeah, anyways, kind of feeling that it's a filler episode this time because I don't have much time. I gotta go to work. So with that being said, let's go check Reddit. <laughs> Snake is the most enigmatic character in the series. Just from the fight alone, we can tell he is skilled enough to beat this, his enemy without killing them. Also, that whole scene with Snake, I gotta say, I enjoyed that very much. And it's got, it's got the weight. It, it has the weight, and that's amazing. Thorfinn even made a comparison to Askelad when he was attacked. Ah. Now, based on evidence we've seen of him, it could be speculated he served in the Var, Varangian Guard, who were a group of outsiders, including Norsemen, employed to protect the Byzantine Emperor. The sword he uses is strikingly similar to a Paramerion. It's unlike any other we've seen before. The helmet he has in the OP looks similar to the helmet he used in the Byzantine military. And he can read a Latin Bible no less. That's not something a lot of people could do back then. A very handsome, <laughs> strange guy indeed. Yeah. He's gonna get a backstory as well. Soon enough. Einar's nightmare love story continues going south. You fall in love. The girl is a slave. Her job is to comfort your master. She will never be free. She was married before getting sold. Her chad husband comes to rescue her. She's pregnant with the master's child. New update. <laughs> Man, he, he's... Yes, poor Einar. Jesus, poor Arnheim. Nothing went right for her at all. I mean, she does have a child now. They could go, right? Unless the farm gets attacked and then the child has no home. And, um... Well, fuck. Arnheim, let's wait for the storm to pass. Ketil, when he returns. Girl, do I got some bad news for all of us. <laughs> oh, shit, man. The storm is coming. Oh, uh, we had storm, yes. But what about the second storm? Uh, I don't think he knows about the second storm, Pip. <laughs> 
this <laughs> is so fucked. The closer this season gets to the climax, the more intense it feels. Before the episode drops on Mondays, I get slight nervousness thinking about what might happen. And I don't expect good things with a literal storm on its way. The entire color scheme for this episode felt like dread. And I love Arnheit even more because I am also from Sweden. Isn't that like the whole show color scheme though? But anyway, this is, this is true. I feel like it's a bit of a tight line to navigate to, you know, be building up stuff but not feel like a filler and boring and instead feel intense and like you know it's you know it's coming towards something and you know shit is about to go down and instead of the next episode being the continuation of the last episode and kind of resolving what has been happening the previous episodes they just introduce new shit to build up the next episode and it's just like all these sides are coming towards something something not probably not very good <laughs> Is it gonna be the next episode or is there gonna be more more build up towards like from completely another side again? We shall see. It is safe to say though, I am not I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. This season is so good. I love the cinematography, I love the shots, I love the storytelling, I love the music, I love the characters. It's amazing. And that was it for Reddit. How did you enjoy this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was there anything that I might have missed? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this reaction, consider leaving a like or a sub, because if you do not, your village will soon be low on iron, and then you'll need to get some, and then the Vikings will come, and then you're fucked. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.